Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. This is my first Christmas decor haul video of the 2023 season and I am so excited to share these items with you. I've done a little bit of early Christmas shopping, just kind of trying to check everything out as it's dropping in the stores. I've gone in person to a couple of different stores, Hobby Lobby, Target, Michaels, I went into Home Goods, I went into a couple of the stores I didn't find any Thing that I just felt like needed to come home with me and at others I definitely picked some things up so I'm gonna share what I've grabbed that is new this season now I do plan on sharing a Christmas decor haul video that is just massive and includes all of the decor that I hope to plan to use this season from years past so these are just my collected items that uh, I have just you know bought over the years and am planning to use little disclaimer before we get started on the haul today you're gonna hear two little puppies well not puppies one's definitely not a puppy but two dogs hanging out with me in this room today they just wanted to stay close and so they're here one is just walking around so enjoy that all right friends let's dive right in so First things first, I found a few cute things in the Target dollar spot. Um, I hadn't like been in store in quite some time. And so when I walked in and saw all the Christmas in the uh, dollar spot, I just got like so excited. There were so many great things that maybe had I not already had a pretty good solid stash of Christmas decor, I definitely would have purchased. Lots and lots of bottle brush trees, of all different shapes, sizes, and colors. Um, so many different like other types of trees from ceramics to different materials. I honestly have enough trees probably from years past. So I just grabbed what was unique to me and stood out a little bit. I loved these guys because they are just kind of that like whimsical look. It's called a tassel tree. The large size came in a couple of different colors. I grabbed these two colors because I felt like they would go best with my decor that I already have and just the overall color scheme, color palette of our home. And I just loved these little guys. And then they have the smaller size as well. I did grab um, a smaller size in both of the colors. Uh, I've got a big box here of all of my decor to share with y'all today. And the little white one is somewhere buried in there. But I think you get the idea. He looks just like this but white. And I am in love. These were a dollar. Now, these were buy three, get one free. So that's why I ended up getting four with the fourth being somewhere in there. But great deal, super cute, just great for shelf decor. I think I know what I'm gonna do with my mantle this year and that'll be a whole separate video of just showing you where I have sourced my inspiration from, of how I might be decorating this year, mood boards I've created, all that good stuff. But if I didn't already have kind of a vision for that space, I would have totally just stocked up on a bunch of these in different sizes and colors and just gone all out because it's such an inexpensive way to create just a fun little you know scene on your mantle or you know you could do it on a table or we've got a piano too so many different ways but love these guys want to add them to my shelves if you follow me over on instagram i shared that i have basically just given our kids like a free reign of the basement for the christmas season and just said here's a bunch of decor and just go for it and they're having a blast so a couple days ago I just let them go ahead because they just love all things Christmas like I do and it's our basement so they went down there decorated the tree I got a few new things for the basement that's just fun like magical kids Christmas and then upstairs I'll keep things a little bit more neutral and elegant the way that I like to style things but that way we get the best of both worlds they spend a lot of time down in the basement so this was perfect for them all of that to say I purchased this one for them there's a little magnetic snowflake that you can just kind of put wherever you need to according to whatever day it is 
but loved this one and thought that it would be so cute for them. I did grab a couple of other things for the basement that I wanted to share with you. Um, I only have one of them right here, but I'll pop up a picture for a couple of the other things. It's their space, so I'm not really filming down there. It did turn out super cute though, uh, but I did want to share this blanket. So this is kind of the theme for the kids' decor down there. Just lots of colors. It's going to be super colorful. And um, I love just the uh, little like scenes of the skiers and all of that. And this is a picture of the tree skirt that I got on Amazon. I think it was like $16.99. Super affordable. It's kind of like a silky material. And um, it's so adorable. The rest of this video will not be about the kids' basement Christmas decor, but uh, this is like the coziest, softest blanket ever. So I will link those if you're looking for, like if you have grandkids or kiddos that you just want to create a fun space for them for the holiday season, those will be linked down below. Continuing on, I could not pass up this beautiful candelabra. This thing is huge and you know my love for the antique brass and for candle holders. So I mean, how could I say no? So there are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 10, 12 spots to put your candles. I can't even fit this in like the full screen here, but absolutely gorgeous. Love the detail on this one. My plan for this is to put it on our kitchen table with a table runner underneath it. Um, but I could also see this being so pretty on the piano or on the mantel. So you may see me playing around with this this season, but I'm really excited about this. Now this was the hearth and hand line and it came in at $39.99. So a little bit on the pricier side. However, I want those pieces that I know I'll use for years and years to come. This is a timeless piece. Antique brass is never going to go out of style and it's just beautiful and elegant. Another piece that I grabbed from the Hearth and Hand line is this beautiful swag. I need to play around with the bow a little bit, but I love green velvet. Huge sucker for anything green and anything velvet around the holiday season. And I love that it had some pine cones to it and just thought this could be really easy to either put on some of the hooks that we have in our living room. You could put this on your front door, inside or out. Honestly, anywhere. I have so many little nail holes in the walls that I could pop a nail in and just hang this up. So I love this little guy. This was a find from the Studio McGee collection. I did purchase this one online. It wasn't available in my stores when I was shopping. I love this piece so much. I have seen a few creators on YouTube share that it's not their favorite. I don't know why, I think it's gorgeous, but we all have different tastes. I love that it has kind of that vintage look to it, but it's at a super reasonable price because it's pretty large if you look at it. The frame isn't the best quality, but honestly, it doesn't bother me. I think that the canvas is the real showstopper here, and it just is totally my style. So that is why I went with this one. It does have two spots on the back to hang this, so it's all set for hanging on your wall, and I think it's gonna be super cute in our house. This next piece is one that I think I'm most maybe most excited about. I have a couple, but this is definitely in the running for the top two or three. So this was online at Target and it is a tree skirt and it has that little pom-pom uh, detail to it. So cute, beautiful. Now I'm a little bit nervous, just a smidge about our puppy who's laying behind me. He's passed out, he's so cute. I'm a little bit nervous about him pawing at it so we'll see how long it lasts. It was not super expensive. I'm peeking to see if I still have the tag on here. I don't. So I'll try to put the price up here for you. But if not, I'll link it. Um, it's so cute. And this was Studio McGee. But I love the little ties to it. I think this is going to be so pretty and so fun. I also have another tree skirt that is um, kind of like that woven basket looking tree skirt. It's a collar, and I think I'll use that on our other tree. So I think we're going to put two trees up on the main living this year. But we'll chat about that in a future video. So anyway, love this one. 
thought it was so cute and would look really adorable with our stockings as well. Another Target purchase, this was online because my store did not have them in stock. This is from the Studio Mickey collection and oh my goodness, these houses i'm trying to take the glare off for you i'll pull them out so you can see them close up if you've been around for christmas on my channel you know that i love christmas houses so much i grew up with my grandpa and my dad having a beautiful department 56 i think collection of uh, houses they called them like the snow villages and uh, I just want that for my kids so I have not branched out into the more expensive homes but I love my little white and like off-white ceramic houses and I just make little villages throughout the house so I'll show you these close up they're in there like nice and snug so yay for Target shipping that well because that is not always the story these are beautiful i love that the roof has a little bit of a darker color they have a reactive glaze on them a spot to put a little tea light candle and there's three different sizes and shapes i think these are going to be so fun to decorate with and intertwine you know little trees or little fun uh, characters or you know we're going to have a blast. It's going to be so fun, but I love these. And then we'll probably do the battery operated um, tea light candles in those. I grabbed two of these LED window candles from the Hearth and Hand Christmas collection and I love them so much. I just, I would have candles in our house in every single room all fall and winter because it just gives that calming, warm light that feels just, yeah, it's calming. It's relaxing, peaceful, and I'm here for it. I'm not going to be using these in my windows for two reasons. One, um, I just don't. I put other things in our windows. I actually have some wreaths that I usually put on the front porch that I'll put little candles in that have timers on them. These do not have timers, so if you are putting your batteries in here, you're going to have to turn it on and off, so I'll probably put these out on like tabletops or shelves, things like that where I can switch them on in the early evening and then off before we go to bed. So that is something to keep in mind. It is marketed as an LED window candle, but I feel like if you had them in the windows, you would probably want them to turn on and off. I just love the wood detail there on the bottom. Um, this one came in at $15, which you know is a little bit pricier which is why i only got two but i'm still excited to use them just a couple more things from target and then i have a few from hobby lobby so this is a table runner from studio mcgee and i love it i fell in love with this so super durable like very thick i feel like this is going to last a long time off-white so not a stark white this is going to look so good with all of the other decor that i have picked out um, for the season all of the other like pretty greens that i have and then on the same note they had uh, kind of like complementing kitchen towels so i did grab these as well these have the same idea this is more like an ivy or like a vine and then these are more like a wreath super duper cute so i'll have these hanging out in the kitchen it's a pretty decent size as well and does have that little hook on the back for hanging if you wanted to kind of display it when you're not using it and then i loved this one too it's got a different material to it i don't know if the camera picks that up but it's really pretty when i was in this store i saw these food gifting bags from hearth and hand and thought they would be so great for just making little treats and goodies for our neighbors it's a little bit more affordable than you know buying those cookie tins that are about three dollars a piece whereas i'm getting 40 is that right? No, I think that includes the stickers, but a good stack of bags with these. These are like little tree stickers to kind of keep them secure and closed um, for $3.99. So I thought I would try this. I do have some cookie tins as well. 
thought this would just be a fun little idea or even for sending in like goodies for teachers and things like that where you're not sending like a huge tray or a big tin full. The last Target items are these little house ornaments. I could not pass them up. They came in a little set of four and I just thought they were so cute. So that's one of them. Then there is this one. I like the little green uh, ribbon that they're on, but I do think that you could replace these with like something else that might match your decor a little bit better if that's not your taste. And then the last one is very similar to one of the other ones, but I do like these and uh, I think they're gonna be fun to put on the tree. I grabbed two things from Amazon. First are these really cute LED little candles. I am excited about these. I just thought they were fun. I think Anthropology sells something like this or maybe had in years past. Um, and so it's definitely like way more affordable to grab these on Amazon. But when I was in World Market the other day, I also saw something very similar to this. I just don't think they were LED. I'm pretty sure that they were like actual wax candles. Um, so you just put a little battery in the bottom. I don't think I have one in there. No. And then um, it's supposed to flicker a little bit. And I think that'll be so fun. So this was a pack of either three or four, um, but I'll link it down below. And also from Amazon, I grabbed some ribbon. So there's a set that I purchased that I'll pop up on the screen here that just hasn't arrived yet. I think it's supposed to get here today. And then I also got this one. So this is a velvet, and then the set that I ordered is more of a, um, I think like a satin type of material, we'll see. But I am going to do some bows on my trees this year. I'll pop up an inspo picture that I found from Chris Loves Julia, and I was like, okay, I can get down with that. So uh, I'm probably going to be replicating that in some sort of fashion. And behind me, you'll see what I found from West Elm, which is this really pretty, I believe it's felt, Merry Christmas banner. It is so beautiful. I think it came up as an ad on Instagram. And when I saw it, I was like, okay, I think I'm going to splurge. It was about $25. So not a huge splurge, but, um, so cute. And I am thinking I might put it on the fireplace. If not, it might stay right here. Cause I kind of like it in here, but just a fun little festive banner. And then at Hobby Lobby, I've grabbed a couple of things over the last few weeks. I loved this wooden nutcracker. I've seen some stores sell very similar pieces, um, but you just can't beat that 50% off Christmas at Hobby Lobby. So this guy was $22 and then 50% off, so about $11, and he's a pretty good size. I also grabbed four of these little frosted wreaths. I am planning to put these on the back of our bar stools that we have in the kitchen. Thought they were just nice and dainty and delicate and I would probably tie them with a ribbon. They were essentially $3 at the 50% off price, so super duper affordable. I'll actually show you the um, item number here because I know Hobby Lobby does not always have everything online. A girl can never have too many little Santa mugs. So I did grab a couple of mugs. There's the Mrs. Claus and then Santa. And then I think the other one is just a different Santa. So I'll give you a close up of each of these. I don't have the tags on them still, but I think they were like two bucks a piece or maybe three. So really reasonable. Obviously these are not antiques, but in the antique store, you will find these for much more than that. 20s, 30s, sometimes even more, depending on uh, you know, how old it is, what brand it is, and all of that good stuff. So I thought, you know what, I'll grab three of these. The kids can have like little mini hot cocoa in there. They would have so much fun with that. And 
um, I can put them in my coffee bar and mix them up with some of my bigger Santa mugs. So love those, super cheap. Jumping back to Amazon for a quick second because I just realized that this ribbon was hidden in my big box that I have right here. But I did grab this black and ivory striped ribbon as well. I thought that I might use this to also tie bows. It does kind of go along with this. I don't know, we'll see. I feel like a girl can never have too much ribbon because you can use it for gift wrapping and things like that. So I just wanted to have it on hand. It actually might be really cute as I'm sitting here thinking about this to use with these little wreaths. I think that that um, color would be a nice little combo. So. Maybe I'll do that. Stay tuned. The last two things I got from Hobby Lobby, of course, the velvet ornaments. If you've seen me on Instagram in the last couple weeks, I've shared these. Um, I think everyone has shared them. They're extremely popular and have sold out in most Hobby Lobbies from what I've been hearing, but they're beautiful. They're a velvet, and uh, I think that I might actually use like a ribbon maybe a different color velvet ribbon or just a ribbon in general to hang these you could also use some twine i have some like ivory baker's twine that could be pretty but i have the brown color in this size which is the small size and then i have the like off-white creamy color in the large and in the small as well i have seen some other brands come out with these velvet ornaments a lot of them are in an assorted pack with multiple different colors that are super pretty they're just a bit more expensive but if that's the look that you really want i'll go ahead and link some of those down in the video description so this is the smaller size against the large so you can kind of get a size reference there they are so pretty i think they also had a black and there may have been another color by the time that i got around to going into store and looking for them they were definitely really picked over in fact all my store had was this color and my friend sarah at laugh love langella if you follow her she uh, was so sweet to check hers because she lives on the other side of town and her hobby lobby had some of the brown so she picked those up for me so I'm really uh, looking forward to putting these on my tree this year. And the last thing I have to share isn't super exciting, but I'm gonna share it anyway. Um, Home Goods is like my go-to place for all the wrapping necessities any time of the year for birthdays, parties, all that good stuff. But then also, of course, for Christmas. So this huge pack is that it has eight boxes. In different sizes two row boxes two shirt boxes two all-purpose and two like tiny little lingerie boxes i don't think i'm gonna be gifting any lingerie this season but never know at uh, seven dollars so good price compared to most stores and loved this kind of vintagey little scene this is the martha stewart brand so Lots of goodies, lots of good finds this season so far. I'm sure that I'll do a little more shopping as the days go on, so I'll be sure to share any finds with you. Um, I hope that this video just kind of showed you a little glimpse of some of the things that are out there this season. Uh, if you have found some pieces that you are just loving, make sure to share them in the comments below so I can go and check them out too. But I look forward to decorating with y'all before too long. Once November hits, I'll probably start because I just love having our home decorated for Christmas. So I want to soak it up for as long as I can. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends. Whoa, oh, oh. Making our Christmas memories